One, two, three. Is that out of sync? I don't know. One, two, three. Is that out of sync? One, two, three. Is that out of sync? (laughs) (laughs) Bye, bye, bye. Is that in sync? (laughs) I'm dropped off all the things I love. Like I need a traffic jam to keep in touch. I can't focus on the words unless my hands are busy. I can't give up on the world or I will leave this city. And it's way too broad what I'm trying to say. But I'll write it down and let it go. And it's hard to know all the words I need to explain my heart in a single note. Hello and welcome to Way Too Broad, a show and tell program for really, really ridiculous, excitable grown-ups who are back from Thanksgiving. Yes, I'm still here. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm Hannah and these are my co-hosts, Aaron and Ben. Hi, Aaron. Congratulations, Hannah. Congratulations, Ben. Uh, Aaron, why are you in my room? Oh, right. This is the room you stayed in. Yeah. This is my office. <laughs> well, it's, it's my Molly's podcasting office. office. It's Molly's office. It's my podcasting office. Mm. If you so just, the room I podcast in. Yeah. If you just let her finish, Ben, you would. It's have your heard. podcast yeah. studio. It's your podcast it's my studio. Po- it's my. I'm in this. I'm here in the studio. <laughs> Coming at you from the studio. <laughs> what is the room? Laying it down. <laughs> the room at the very top of the stairs that Dom and Rachel are in. What is that normally? Where is the guest room? Okay. Boring. Cool. Boring. Good. Awesome. Give it a better name. It's hard to name rooms. Mm. Mm. It kind of just happens organically. The room I, I I podcast in is the weirdest room in my house because it's just a room between the hallway and my bedroom and nobody knows why it exists. Huh. Bonus it exists room. for you to podcast in. And work in. My, my, my work desk is back there. Is it an extension of the hallway or is it a room proper? It's a room. Actually, I think what it was maybe was a nursery at one point because it's connected to the master bedroom. But then also the master bedroom is not original. So I have no clue. Hmm. Is there another way to get into the master bedroom other than through that room? Mm -mm. No. So did it maybe it was an extension? Maybe it was one big room and they made a smaller little room? No, because it used to just be a crawl space. The big, the big room. The room that I sleep in used to really? be like a... Yeah, there, there didn't used to be a room there. I'm pretty sure. We have different definitions of crawl space. Yeah, um, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> my crawl space is neath my house. <laughs> you can have a crawl space in the attic. It's just a space that's only low enough to crawl in. Wouldn't a nursery be a crawl space? That's funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, did, she did a badoom with her hands, but there was no drums. So it was hard Bye-bye. to... Bye-bye. <laughs> Anyway, what are we drinking? Who's first? Aaron, what are you drinking? What? Me? Yeah. I have a water in this beautiful water bottle that my beautiful wife got me. I love it. You've seen it. I love it. Yes, I admired it. And I'm drinking a kombucha. It's a ginger lemonade. I thought I saw a top of a booch. It's a booch for you, baby. Delicious. I didn't feel like... um, drinking alcohol and uh i'm not thrilled with our seltzer flavors and i thought hey a kombucha is is there you go is there you go there it is bench what are you drinking yeah bench what you got i got big mug of green mug of water did you miss your mug while you're here in north carolina no because i always had a can of seltzer around yeah (laughs) so i had had a lot of water anyway Frick, there was so much seltzer at Thanksgiving. Yeah. It was we amazing. killed all of it. We absolutely destroyed all of it. <laughs> yeah, that uh, recycling awesome. your recycling bin is really so full of seltzer it, cans. Yeah, it's, it was, it's, it's doing wild. better now. That's good. That's good. I'm glad. Happy for it. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. I have a Trader got, Joe's unsweetened golden oolong tea. Oh. Yeah. Do oolongs have a lot of um, caffeine? I didn't really check. I thought they did. They're black tea, right? I mean, it's it's golden. Golden. It's They're all in the name. Black tea, I think. It doesn't Whoa. say anything about caffeine, but I assume there's caffeine in it. Apparently, oolong means dark dragon tea. <gasps> That's cool. Chinese. That's so badass. Ian, is there caffeine in this tea? But 
like tea, tea caffeine doesn't really do anything to me typically it does contain mm. caffeine that's, that's cool. so fair did you know it's semi-fermented oolong tea huh no, we're both drinking a fermented drink anna wow it's wow. pretty good it's pretty good does oolong tea have probiotics then I don't know if the tea is semi-fermented, or like the like the brewed tea, or just the dry tea. Oh, right. So. Oh, because I guess kombucha is fermented tea. Freaking duh. Freaking duh. I, so we're both drinking fermented tea, but different times of the fermenting. Yeah, and mine does have caffeine in it. I'm sure it does, because usually it's black tea. Hmm. I'm drinking two billion CFU probiotic cultures. Nice. That's so awesome. Remember that time that yeah. Molly sent us an email that said that kombucha was just as invigorating as coffee in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember that. Yeah. yeah. We all laughed. Wait, she didn't say that, did she? Yeah, she did. That's such an <laughs> untrue thing to say. Leave yeah. me. Yeah. Oh Leave my God. me, I've tried it. <laughs> Speaking of drinks, I have an upfront about um, one of our favorite drinks, Spindrift. Uh, so welcome to Spindrift Corner. Um, I have an update on on Spindrift's product line for you guys. Have you all yeah, heard about for this? Us. Yeah, and for our, our listeners who don't know, Aaron, have you seen this? What they're discontinuing for Spindrift <gasps> flavors? No, I thought you were about to tell us about the new flavor. Uh, and I was like, oh, we all had it together. <laughs> oh, why did you say? Can you hide viruses and JPEGs? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get to that later. So, um. <laughs> uh, uh, there's four flavors. I think I know why. <laughs> They're discontinuing. Um, uh, let me find the list. Hold on. Okay. You started. You started this without having the list pulled up, huh? Well, I have the pictures, but they don't have the list. Um, they have viruses in them. <laughs> Hold on. I'll share my screen. You guys can help me decipher what they are. Okay, we've got cranberry raspberry. Which Ian will miss. He liked that one. Strawberry, which uh, I, good, rip. good riddance. Yeah, I I will miss that one, but I, I do that one was shit. But I do like strawberry lemonade better. So fine. Yeah, blackberry is that what this never one even, is? Never even saw never that. Had it. Yeah, and then the classic cucumber. Gross, gross, <laughs> absolutely disgusting. Oh, horrifying! Why did, did that exist? I don't. I won't miss any of these. You've never see either. you later. You've never had cucumber spindrift. Nah, don't need it. Don't want Gross. it. Gross. I feel Why, like that was like would the, you? the yeah. first Spindrift I ever saw. Like, it just feels very, like, to me, like, the, when well, I I'm think of... I'm sorry for you. <laughs> when I think of... I don't love it, right? Like, I understand. I'm sure that these are the ones being dropped because they're making room for new flavors, and these ones they are the least don't popular. They well. Right. Yeah. But the cucumber one was the first one that ever caught my attention. And when I think about Spindrift, that's the one that I think of, even though the flavor is not my favorite of all the Spindrifts, but that's fine. I'm not sentimental about it. Like also because they say that they're doing it. Hold on. Let me see if it says in here. Um, Oh, there they oh, are. The flavor bird. vault. It's like the, the Disney vault. fucking vault. The flavor vault. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Where's the rest of this post? Oh, but it says this new flavors are coming sooner than you might think. Just pretty exciting. They're already in your fridge. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also did all get to try their limited edition flavor at Thanksgiving. It was a close call. Oh, here it is. Spiced apple oh my God. cinnamon cider. Spiced apple cider. The yeah, fuck? Cider. Yeah. Okay. Um, <gasps> yeah. Spiced apple cider. Molly and I both ordered entire cases of it, and they both took their fucking time getting there, and we thought we weren't yeah. going to have it in time, but then we killed, like, all of it by the end of the week, so. Did you end up taking any home? No. Oh, I assumed you did, because I was like, oh, it's all gone, she must have taken it down. <laughs> no. No. No, but I never, I never intended to, so. This family can really crush a lot of seltzer. It's quite impressive. Mm -hmm. It's quite impressive. Mm hmm Agree. We're well hydrated bitches is what we are. <laughs> That's right. For real, for real. All right. The next thing I wanted to cover is we got a couple emails. No, uh, no are we they, didn't. Are they real? <laughs> yeah. So, well, one of them's not. Know. One of them That's is. Her no voice. Renew your, <laughs> renew your subscription now for big savings from fug, 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 fug. <laughs> <laughs> and Those are literally. 
three adjacent keys on the keyboard. Yeah, they didn't even try at all. It's just an email address. And there's an attachment in that, which I didn't open. I didn't open it. But the body of the email just says hi. And then there's an attachment, which Gmail claims it's scanned. Hold on. What does it say about it? You should open it. I'm not going to open it. I it's, opened it. It's it, a JPEG. You can open it. It, it is a JPEG. I'm not going to yeah. open it. Okay. But then I realized through that email that actually there's like a hidden, it's not that hidden, but there's a spam folder in Google. And I was like, what the hell? What are they even filtering? Because like all we get is spam. So I went to look at it. And I'm really glad I did because I found an email in there that it it seems like really promising. So I wanted to read that to you guys. (laughs) Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. It's from Aisha Gaddafi. Um. Hello, dear friend, with due respect to your person and much sincerity of purpose, I wish to write to you today for our mutual benefit in this investment transaction. I'm oh. Mrs. Aisha al Gaddafi, presently residing here in Oman, the southeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula of Western Asia. I'm a single mother and a widow with three children. I'm the only biological daughter of the late Libyan prince, wow. late Colonel Muammar Gaddafi. I have an investment. I was gonna I, when I read when you said the name, I was gonna be I was gonna say like Muammar Gaddafi, but then yeah. I didn't want to be racist. <laughs> well, um, I have an investment funds worth twenty seven million five hundred thousand United State dollars, and oh. then she also p- like puts it in parentheses the the full amount, except she uses dots between everything instead of commas. Um, and I need an investment manager slash partner because of my asylum status. I will authorize you the ownership of the investment funds. However, I'm interested in you for investment project assistance in your country. Maybe from there we can build a business relationship in the near future. Wow. I'm sorry, in the nearest future. I'm willing to negotiate an investment slash business profit sharing ratio with you based on the future investment earning profits. If you're willing to handle this project, kindly reply urgently to enable me to provide you more information about the <laughs> investment funds. That. What does it look like to a reply urgently? <laughs> I don't know, but whatever it is, we definitely missed the window because she sent this on November 8th. Actually, that's more recent than I thought, but still. So, do you, should we do it? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you, Ben. Let's drop all the podcast money into it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. I'll write her back after, after we're done recording. Great stuff. Yeah. So if you'd like to send us any investment opportunities, our email address is way too broad at gmail.com. Hit us up. Hit us up, baby. <laughs> uh, okay. Who else got up front? Frick. No. Uh, um, Man's yawning. Gosh. Yeah, I just got really tired all of a sudden. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I don't think I have any up front. Well, we had a lovely Thanksgiving all together. So great. Mm-hmm. I would like to shout out, I would like to give a shout out to like the maybe three songs we had on repeat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pink, Pony, Pink Pony Club by, what's her name? Chapel Roan. Chapel Roan. Fantastic. If you haven't heard it, you have to listen to it. Mm-hmm. Um, the Loneliest Time by Carly Rae Jepsen and Rufus Wainwright. Freaking mm-hmm. amazing. Mm-hmm. Ben, did you talk about that on the podcast? I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like I don't he think did. She did. No, I don't we think did she mention did. it. He did. Yeah. did yeah. I don't think I brought his obsession, but we talked about Suck it. Suck that right. Yeah, you yeah. would have played it if you had. And and um, Aaron's obsession from. The- yeah, my obsession from last week, which was or last time, which was um, "Ruin My Life" by Zolita. Fucking crazy. Earlier this week, hold on, let me pull it up. Kylie texted me something funny while she was at work. I freaking love all those songs. She so said. Much. What was that song Aaron and Hannah played a bunch last week that wasn't Taylor Swift? It has the lyrics, fuck off all my plans or something. <laughs> Ruined my life by Zelita. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't Taylor Swift. That's yeah. funny. That's fair and funny. Yeah. Shout out to Aaron and Molly for hosting the um, a million people at their home and to your parents for hosting uh, like twice that many people for Thanksgiving. Holy crap. Yeah, shout out to my mom. If you're listening, great job. And you did a great job. Yeah, awesome. you did a great job. It was so good. The mac and cheese out of this world. And shout out oh my God. to Lucas. And so much of it so often. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shout out to Lucas and Federica for uh, uh, not coming because they found out they had COVID. <clears throat> we really, yeah. really love and appreciate you. We missed you very much. And. Yeah. Thanks for taking a test and thanks for being responsible. Love you guys so much. Yeah. 
Yeah, big, big shout out to them. Mm -hmm. I know that was hard, but really, really grateful. We all stayed so safe and healthy this Thanksgiving Mm -hmm. and big parts thanks to them for testing. Yeah. The other thing I think that Yeah, I didn't even get a fucking cold this year. Which which is like so rare. I was talking to Ian about it. I think it's because um I didn't drink nearly as much. Like we mm-hmm. we did other stuff, but we didn't drink a lot compared right. to other years. And so like <laughs> I, I just didn't my body didn't get as run down. Yeah, same. That was great. Yeah. Loved it. Around, had such fun. Yeah. Around this time last year I, I had completely lost my voice. Yeah, that's right. So doing better. Yeah. 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 I definitely got a, like some sort of cold last year for mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fun. Fun stuff. It's freaking fun. It's made us all realize how fucked up it is that we have to work all the time. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking stupid. Ooh. They keep ma- they keep making us do it. Yeah. I have to work yeah. again tomorrow? Like, yeah, what? same. What the fuck is up with that? Yeah. I've been working for two days already. Why don't I work tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I did yeah, me too. take off the week before Christmas. Nice. Excellent. The whole week? Love the that. The whole week. And then the week after, yep. you have off? Yup. Love that, Ben. Two weeks. Love that for you. That's great. Congrats. I have another shout out to give to my husband, Ian, who made, I told him yesterday that I wanted smashed potatoes, and today he fucking made me smashed potatoes for dinner. Uh, With dinner. Love that. Yeah. What the (laughs) for dinner? (laughs) No judgment here. And he not only, like, made them but he knew that we were recording we were supposed to be recording at 6 30 and so he timed them so that they'd be done at six so that i could eat before i came up here wow. yeah. what is this what smashed potatoes versus mashed potatoes I was gonna ask the same dang question because i feel like when you make mashed potatoes you kind of smash them well mm-hmm. it's kind of like okay so you take i wasn't there when he made them but my understanding is that we had like small potatoes you know, like the small mm-hmm. guys, and you, we know you take those and you boil them, <laughs> and then you put them on like a tray when they're soft, mm-hmm. and you smash okay. them with like a bottom of a glass mm-hmm. or something. So you don't like okay. take the skin off or do anything after you smash them. You just like spice them and put them in the oven, and so that way they oh, have okay. like they're mushy in the middle, like a baked potato, but they're but they're like crunchy on the outside, and they've got nice mm. spices, and they're flat. It's really, mm. it's not the easiest thing to manage eating. Like, I, I only had a fork. I probably would have, would use a knife as well next time, but it's really good. So quite different from a, a mashed potato. Yeah, you just kind of, it's kind of like you started to make mashed potatoes and then you got bored really quickly and just put them in Dang. the oven instead. Yeah. yeah. Right. Except I would never start making mashed potatoes on a baking pan. Mm, yeah. I've never made mashed potatoes either. I don't know if that's. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no baking pan. <laughs> at all anywhere in the process so well yeah i mean most people wouldn't use a pressure cooker either so is that what you used well i use pressure cooker to cook the potatoes i don't feel like it's that uncommon honestly it's it's got like a really guarded stance going on like i'm really doing some offensive stuff (laughs) (laughs) i'm in repose I'm gonna propose and and I'm a little chilly. (laughs) Oh yeah, it's fucking cold here. What's it fucking? Yeah, it was cold today. Tell me what the temperature was. Uh, Well, it's 37 now. It was in the 50s. Here's how cold it was, Hannah. I left the house uh, in Birkenstocks, and I was like, "No, I have to go." And and I put boots on. Boots. Wow. Birkies to boots. (laughs) (laughs) It was a Birkies to boots type of day. The seasons are ch- the seasons are changing. The seasons are changing. <laughs> it's currently thirty eight degrees here. See, hashtag, it's warmer there. Hashtag oh. heat island. Oh yeah, it is colder here. It's like thirty three out right now. So oh. hashtag heat island. Hashtag, hashtag city life. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag turkey town. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag there's also bunnies. Wow. Oh. <laughs> hashtag is such a. I saw at this restaurant I go to, I saw a chipmunk. There's chipmunks there. I see them a lot when I'm sitting outside and lizards, actually. And because it has like a lot of outdoor space. And then today I, I was getting a drink with a friend and I was like, look, a little chipmunk crawling up the wall. But it was a mouse. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a mouse. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that is fun. One time I was walking by uh, a like big 
shopping complex slash movie theater that I live near. And <laughs> I was walking, we were walking on a sidewalk where there's like a trash can on the right and like a set of bushes on the left. And a rat ran out like from the <laughs> trash can and then darted in front of us and ran to the bush. And we were like, oh my God, wow. Like, you know, you get surprised when a rat runs out. And then another one ran out. And then three more ran out. Oh my God. And wow. like, they kept waiting until we were like right next to it and then jumping out and sprinting. Oh my God. Across. Wow. <laughs> so I think yeah, a total of five rats ran out of that trash and into a nearby bush. Wow. I wonder what movie they saw. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Ratatouille. I knew he was going to say the that. Rat Pack. I knew. Wow. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. Probably Rakakuni. Wow. <laughs> Um, 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 we saw a, uh, deer on the way back. Wow, Hannah. <laughs> awesome. Love that. I feel like I had something else to say and then this placeholder just fell into my brain. <laughs> but it, we did see it hit a car. You remember when you... When, Wait, what? Oh, no. Wait. Yeah. It, it hit the car. Well, it's okay. really buried the lead there. I actually yeah, was... what the... <laughs> You said the you said it the least interesting way you could have. We <laughs> I actually was sleeping. Oh dear. But my understanding is that Okay, so you didn't see it. I was sleeping. I I woke up to the <laughs> aftermath of it, but my understanding is that Did you hit it? Are you barely <laughs> it even more? No, no. I was Did you not. fall asleep at the wheel no. and hit a deer? No. I Are you not, a deer? I'm not a deer. I was sleeping in the passenger seat and then um I the deer was driving? I felt Ian <laughs> <laughs> slow down dramatically. And so I woke up and the car in front of us was like at a standstill. And he told me that a deer had come uh, up from the right and like tried to cross the road. But then it, there was a divider in the middle. We were on like a. Mm. And so then it ran back. And this other car had been like ah. had been like had slowed down and swerved to get past it but before it could get past it the deer ran back the other way and basically ran into the car almost uh. and so apparently it knocked the deer over but then the deer got up and ran away and we saw the car later driving like normal so it seemed kind of like no harm no foul on both ends so that wow. was good what state were you in new jersey uh-huh <laughs> uh-huh that's how the deer are in new jersey Everything is legal in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Even hitting deer. And deer getting their driver's license. So true. Man, I really feel like I want to say something else, but I can't remember. I'm sure you'll think of it. Mm. How about we pop in? Yeah, let's pop in. I'll tell you what, if you think of it, if you think of something more interesting than we saw a deer <laughs> and you didn't actually see it, then you interrupt me no matter what I'm saying and just jump right in with it. I don't know if there's How's anything that? more interesting than that. Though. <laughs> if you think of anything more interesting or more accurate, oh wait, wait, wait. saw a deer. Hold on, I do have to jump in. Apparently, we were in Connecticut, not New Jersey. Wow, wow, full of lies, full of lies. You were even away. I- you don't even know what the fuck happened or where you were. That's so true. You're so right. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Anyway, False. Aaron, what's your obsession? Falsehoods. <laughs> Full of falsehoods. All right. My obsession is a YouTube channel that I have just been absolutely obsessed with. It's been my number one go-to sleepy time YouTube channel for some reason. Also, when I've been a little high the past past week, <laughs> when I'm going to bed, I just want to like watch my YouTube, and this is my number one YouTube <laughs> It's Blacktail Studios. He makes big tables out of he makes big desks. He makes table <laughs> desks. He makes big <laughs> tables and desks out of wood black walnut wood slabs. <laughs> Always the same wood? The same piece of wood. It's he mostly works with black walnut and he does epoxy. He does black walnut and epoxy. He does like slab tables from and like desks. one. And, and t- and desks, from <laughs> desks most and pa- tables from like one. <laughs> he usually does like one big slab of wood, and then he'll do like typically these days just black epoxy in with it, and it'll be like um you know sometimes like the table will have sometimes it'll be like huge swaths of epoxy depending on the type of slab. Anyway, there are usually like 20 to 30 minute YouTube videos of him like just he talks 
the whole time and like about what he's doing and it's just like the whole process of like turning the slab of wood into a beautiful table and i just love it you guys that i just watched great. that I fall right asleep wow. what's it called it's called blacktail studios hey this is cameron blacktail studios <laughs> that's how he starts all the studios <laughs> it's one word Sometimes but it'll he- come up if you search too blacktail studio yeah um yeah it's just uh it's they're just nice i would just recommend i don't really have much more to say other than just like take a look uh at the videos and look at one that uh looks interesting to you and then watch it and see how you like it i feel like it's probably something ian would be really into yeah absolutely um i watched most of them have you seen Um, the one melting epoxy into furniture with the sun yeah, that's wow. pretty yep, cool. That one's pretty I was cool. just looking at that one. It's so Me too. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That one's a little um, atypical of his typical videos. That's a redundant thing to say, <laughs> um, <laughs> but fun. Uh, refunded. A fun one is the fifty <laughs> refundant. <laughs> that's so good, Hannah. The a good one is the fifteen thousand dollar kitchen island. That's a fun one. Um, I mean, they're all really cool. Is even that if you just, him, just like shopping and buying the thing. Oh, bless him. He does chapters. No. Ben, that's him making one. Um, oh. Because he's a woodworker, you know? Yeah, that makes more sense. I should have thought yeah. of that. Yeah. <laughs> that's my so bad. Just, he, and he makes really beautiful tables. Um, Let me share my screen this here and I'll go to Baum his Gartner website. Baumgartner Restoration Vibes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Which, yes. by the way, I hadn't watched one of his videos in a while and then Kylie put one on the other day. He's really upped his game. That, oh, I heard really? someone say that, but I feel like yeah, his game like was already pretty like a, high. It was already good, but he's got like a bigger, fancier studio now, and he's got like a whole a little intro animation for his hmm. videos, which I don't think he had before. They're good. Nice. I'm gonna have to go. I was just thinking about getting back into those. So let me let me show you. I'm gonna show you his show some us. of his furniture on the website, just because I also think he makes really beautiful furniture. Um, what kind of furniture? So, um they're like desks <laughs> and tables wow um, so I, and expensive. i just i yeah they're really expensive i really love uh, i just really love this epoxy stuff that he does mm-hmm. i think they're just really beautiful yeah they're i mean they're like ten fifteen thousand dollar tables mm-hmm. but the wood slabs themselves you know are like four thousand dollars because they're just like cut most of the stuff he works with is cut from a single slab. I d- I don't like the white epoxy stuff as much. I love the black walnut mm-hmm. and black epoxy stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Um, and so it was just really cool to see him make these uh, and all the steps and stuff. I just love YouTube. I think YouTube is just an incredible platform where you just get to like watch people do this. Mm-hmm. I mean, his job is to like make. He's a content creator and a desk maker in equal parts, and so. Um, and, and then he does these little I- inlays. With, oh, yeah, and this, just the neat. sides of this table are his logo. It's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, I all of these that. are sold. Holy shit. Yeah, look at oh, this. Oh, wow. How beautiful Whoa. is that? Shut so up. cool. Oh, yeah, are you telling me to shut up? No, did you hear the can? I keep kicking a can. So no. you're <laughs> kicking a can and you're telling it to shut up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love this one here that mm. I don't see a bigger version of. But <laughs> it's a, t- a tiny table. Yeah, love that. He should make that anyway. Little tiny tables, <laughs> and then little tiny and table. then people who don't have a lot of money could get one of his tiny tables. You know, tiny tables. Look at these. Look at some of the stuff he makes. Beautiful. There's that thing in the video we were watching, bending epoxy with the sun. Does Bending he, it in the sun. Does he name the, the product after the video title? That would be smart. Um, I don't think so. You should write in. I'm gonna write him. him. Yeah, yeah. Those are awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's my obsession. Just love. I don't like pine for a table like that mm. by any means. I think they look cool. It's more like I enjoy the videos mm-hmm. and i got into i did these videos like maybe last year and watched them a bunch but didn't bring them as an obsession and i've just like recently really been into it so i thought i would bring it love it yep i love this shit Baumgartner, this all these process videos they're great oh uh, oh uh, great sure. so great resin love yeah. it love it <sighs> epoxy love it 
little bonus recommendation that I tried to give to all my family, but nobody was ready to invest their time yet. Um, <laughs> the new, um, well, actually, like as far as like videos that YouTube videos that put that like not put me to sleep, but like help me sleep. Any Jenny Nicholson video, I find her voice so relaxing and just like her tone. Mm. And second of all, the one that I've been watching like repeatedly for like uh, since it came out, like I must have seen it or slept through it like so many times at this point is her new video about Evermore Park, um, which is fascinating. Like she she knows all the history. Of course, it's like three hours long or something. She went there. She has fil- three footage. Three hours and 48 minutes. Mm-hmm. Wow. She, she went there. That's so she has footage of it. She has like, I mean, she's just as thorough as ever. And as always, like someone needs to hire Jenny Nicholson to design a theme park or write a movie or something because every time that she reviews anything, she pinpoints exactly what it needs to make it like better. Mm. She's just like got such a mind. Like I just love her. So that's my little secondary recommendation for YouTube. Who are you talking to just then? Because you prefaced it with something my family is I'm telling you about this because my family isn't ready to invest the time and like we're your family. <laughs> the the listeners. <laughs> Who's your audience here? Our listeners. What family? <laughs> All right. I mean, I told you about it at Thanksgiving, but everyone was like So true. Four hours. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. I don't really feel like you were going to get traction with that at, all. <laughs> at like midnight being like, y'all want to watch a four hour YouTube Oh, video? no. I never recommend, I never suggested we watch it together. That would be too yeah. much. That would be too much. Yeah. Then what are you but adding us for? <laughs> yeah. However, it would have been too much. However, Hannah, if someone had been like, oh, you want to throw it on? What would you have said? You would have been like, fuck yeah, let's do this. Yeah, I would have. But it wasn't my intention. I just want someone else to talk to about it just anyone <laughs> that's so fair that's so was, fair was honestly Evermore, that's so fair. wasn't that the was that the theme park that was like supposed to be like D land where you like went and role played and stuff <sighs> yeah oh i feel like i remember hearing about that when i lived in california it's in utah kylie and i were talking about it too because i told her about that yeah. she's the first person i've talked to about it who recognized the name besides like the taylor swift album um, which is which is the main thing. If people do know Evermore Park, they know them because they sued Taylor Swift when her album came out. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Did they? I don't think they won. No, absolutely not. No, they didn't. Um, I think, uh, yeah, it was a very bad idea. And she goes through what all was, of it. What was somebody calling Taylor Swift at Thanksgiving? Taylor Swift. It was Ben. <laughs> <laughs> <Taylor> Swift. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it like we were driving and playing the music and like we're like most of the way there and and we ask you something about it and you're just like i'm just trying to figure out who Tabor sniffed is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i'm hilarious yeah that was funny i have got to get my sweatshirt i'll be right back okay this is part of my obsession so i'm using my time <laughs> okay <laughs> but yeah you guys should watch it when you have some time, maybe in a couple of sessions, because since both you and Kylie knew what it was, I feel like you would be interested. Kylie was saying Kylie, she had really wanted to go. Well, she, I don't know if she mentioned this when she talked to you, but she had some friends from her work who went to like a similar thing that's around here. Hmm. No, she didn't. Uh, it's not like a theme park, but it's like... Uh, well, neither is that, honestly. Yeah. Uh, it's like you, you go... For like a weekend, and like basically like role play a a D and D type adventure. I feel like I get ads for something about that, and I thought yeah, it was Evermore Park, but called. knowing how bad their marketing has been, I I'm certain that they're not advertising that way. But I've gotten mm-hmm. like YouTube ads and stuff for something that's that's kind of like that. I'm I would sure love I it. The name and and the, I if I remember correctly, Kylie has friends at work who like who work at it. Uh, some weekends like as the the oh actors not not, not ever and, and have, no not ever park yet but i've also have done the the thing before too that's cool w- done the yeah. thing like the experience themselves they've both worked it and like taken part as uh i don't know what the fucking word is like role players i guess we're talking about like some place that's that's closer to us that does kind of a similar thing like a Live action D and D type adventure situation over a weekend. <clears throat> um, yeah, unfortunately, Evermore Park uh, 
had some very, very big dreams for what it was going to be, but not not a great path to get there and also like a pandemic to deal with and stuff. But I don't think they handled any, almost any part of it well. So it just was like, it's kind of sad for someone who had hope f- for it, well, um, which I think Jenny it, was in that um, boat. Is it like officially closed? No. Or is it still open? I don't think it's closed. Oh, really? I, I could be wrong about that. I know they reopened post-pandemic which is when Jenny went. She went like right when they reopened. Um, but I don't know what's I weirdly enough, either she doesn't cover it or I'm usually asleep by the time she talks about that because I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to YouTube videos yeah. that you can watch to fall asleep with. Love those. Love I know it's not like supposed to be good for you, or it's supposed to like but it feels like it's good for me. I know I know they're like, don't look at your phone before you go to bed because you won't be able to fall asleep, but I slap on a ZFG mm-hmm. randomizer VOD or this Black Tail Studio or B- Brandon Brahms. I don't remember his name. Brandon Brahms. Brandon Brahms. Tabor Sniff's be- and- best friend, Brandon Brahms. <laughs> Brandon Brahms. Brandon Brahms. And then I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bra- what is it? Bra- Bomb Gardner. <laughs> Bra- <laughs> Really stuck on thinking it's a bra sound. There's no bra. My studio. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep, baby. I'm gonna sleep right pull away. Out a bra, no, no, I'm gonna sleep. A and then I'm gonna sleep for the night. And then I wake up in the morning. I'm like, what? <laughs> and you dreamed all night about. Tables or no, desks? No, Tabor sniff. <laughs> Table sniffed. <laughs> Table sniffed. Uh, great, love it. great obsession, okay. Aaron. Can't wait to explore that channel more. Thank you. Let me know what you think, please. Frick, Ben, Hanner, I uh, Ben. <laughs> oh my God, I was about to be skit. Burn, 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 burn. What's your obsession, brother? I think we all know. Oh, I hold on, is. hold on. Oh, I know. <laughs> absolutely, I know. It's I Pokemon know. Scarlet. Yeah, it's Pokemon Violet. Scarlet. Well, man, I, I played Scarlet, but uh, I feel like I feel like one of my main memories of this Thanksgiving week was like been playing a lot of Pokemon Scarlet and just absolutely cackling his like sweet little head off. <laughs> it's just, so like, fun. Fucking loved it. <laughs> it's so fun and pokemon fans are such entitled little babies <clears throat> and got so mad and the same fucking thing happened when sword and shield came out where everyone was like oh the trees are so ugly and uh, really? blah, blah, blah. yes oh. and the trees yeah specifically the trees they <clears throat> complained a lot about the trees wow. and I then scarlet and comes out okay and you know what scarlet comes out and yeah it runs like shit and it kind of looks like shit and so did legends arceus <laughs> But goddamn, the game is really fucking fun, guys. I feel like no one is paying attention to that part. <laughs> the game's really fun. Okay. It fucks. It seems fun. <laughs> yeah. It's it's It does seem like it fucks. <laughs> it fucks. It's the only it's the first open world Pokemon game. And it really is open world. Like you can really just kind of go anywhere. I would say mm-hmm. the only the only like there's not areas in the map that are like explicitly gated off. Like large areas in the map, there are like maybe little areas you like can't climb to or like swim to until you get those like upgrades for your little ride Pokemon. Um, but other than that, it's like you kind of do the beginning tutorial stuff and then you're just like on your own and you can you can fucking blast. Blast, man. Just and, when in doubt. Uh, it's great. I also like I like the three different stories that it has because it has sort of like excuse me three main quest lines. One that's like the traditional beat all eight gyms and then beat the elite four and become a champion. Uh, then there's the one where you're beating Titan Pokemon to find Herba Mystica, mm. which are like special herbs to help a the, dog, the good, mm. you, you know, the good, good to help a dog and to help Coridon, the Pokemon you ride on. Wow. Well, and there are dogs in the Pokemon world. Dog Pokemon. There that are aren't Pokemon. No, there are Pokemon also, but this generation oh, did okay. introduce three different dog Pokemon. Huh. Introduce the little Fido, the little fairy type <laughs> bread dog. Mm, cute. Bread uh, dog. There's Gravard. Grevard? Grevard, I guess. I don't know how to pronounce it. 
uh, which evolves into Houndstone. Oh, and Fido evolves into Doxbun. That's a little ghost dog. <laughs> and then there's uh, Mastiff, which evolves into Mabostiff, which is the one that you're helping mm-hmm. bet, feel better. That's a big old Mastiff. Yeah, so they, they, they introduced three freaking dogs. Isn't that nice? That's pretty yeah, nice. That's nice. Ben, I need to, I need to uh, raise an issue with you on the record that I have already raised with you in a non-recorded segment. Um, <laughs> and my issue is with, with what's it called? Karidon? Yeah, the 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 Pokemon it has wheels, but it mm. runs on no, legs. It doesn't have wheels. It has wheels. It doesn't have wheels. It doesn't like, Hannah, have wheels. It's an ancient Hannah. Pokemon. <laughs> Hold on, there's 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 natural precedence for this. Henna. It's like it bugs with false eyes, or 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 like stick bugs or leaf bugs. Yes. Okay, it's just like that, Hannah. How is it just, just like, like that? that? It's just like that. It's so <laughs> obviously just, just like that. that. It's not just worth like a stick to bug. You. <laughs> it's just like it's a stick so bug, except obviously like that. Except instead of stick, it has motorcycle. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> okay, motorcycle yes. wheels. Thank you. It has yes. motorcycle yes. wheels, and the and in-game excuse is that it's pre-wheel. It's this prehistoric. Ancient. No, listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Can you know what the fuck you're talking about? Hold and on. You're embarrassing. <laughs> you're honestly embarrassing yourself. It's really embarrassing. I think I think you should maybe quit while you're very behind. <laughs> but we'll explain it to you like yeah. you're like you're a listen, child. Hannah. Listen, we've got three. I'm sharing my screen. I know that he unrolls his wheels sometimes, but that doesn't make them less wheels. We've got three Pokemon in question here, right? We've got Karidon. Oh, uh, look at those wheels. Scarlet. First They're of all, wheels. this looks cool as shit. No. It's yeah. a throat sack that he inflates. Mm-mm. Okay, and that's also nature has precedent. Okay. Yeah, nature has precedent. <laughs> this is an ancient, canonically an ancient Pokemon. This is spoilers. That got time traveled to the future, to the present that Pokemon Scarlet takes place in. Cyclozar is another Pokemon that you see around everywhere and people ride on all over the region you live in. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. This canonically evolved from Coridon. Okay? Okay. So we evolved from this big guy to a little version okay. that people ri- still ride on, but it has the same thing. Like a where moped. It inf- uh, uh, where it, sh- sh- yeah, like a moped. <laughs> where it inflates the throat sack and then it rolls his tail up to look kind of like wheels, but they're not wheels. But why? This, I think then, the problem- this then evolved. I- hold on. <laughs> this then evolved in the future to Miridon. Which is the one you ride on in Pokemon Scarlet, which does have functioning wheels. They, wh- they look the I same. The, I think they the do problem, not look the same. <laughs> ben, I think the problem is Hannah is an evolution denier. <laughs> she believes in the creation that that doesn't God look the same. Look, this created. is one solid thing. This is a fucking ring. <laughs> okay, Ben, but the picture you just same. showed. Look, look, the picture you just look, that picture there. His wheel is unfurled into a tail, and his neck. Is a is a is on his neck and it's a wheel. Yeah, cause he evolved from no. them. No, look, no. Okay, none of this is none of this is usable. Let's go, let's move on. <laughs> All of it's usable. You're just gonna cut it out because I called you an evolution, denier, <laughs> and you, you don't want that on the truth. record. I I I studied evolution in college. All right, and you don't believe in it anymore. Oh, and you went back on it. <laughs> yeah, went back you studied it. it, and you decided it's not good. It's not for me. It's not. <laughs> it doesn't really hold up against the Bible. <laughs> I also I find sh- I want to put on the record that I find the fact that Miraidon, the the future version from Pokemon Violet. That it's has hot. flesh wheels that actually roll <laughs> is fucking turns weird. It turns him on. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> I just can't deal with how sexy it is. It's erotic. <laughs> That's why I picked Scarlet so I wouldn't have boner all the time. <laughs> it's supposed to be a family game. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, that was fun. I think, I in my opinion, all that was usable, and I will be <laughs> offended if it's not yeah. in the podcast <laughs> in the final in the final cut. TBH. Oh, and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's a big like. Well, there's two big. I would 
I don't know if gimmick is a fair word. People always say gimmick, but like the big feature that they introduced in this <laughs> generation <laughs> was uh, co-op, which has not been a thing in any Pokemon game. Oh, you can yeah. play with up to four people and they like join your world and can run around and do shit. You can just... It seemed pretty good. It was honestly. pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, I played co-op with Lucas a several bunch. days. Yep. She was really fun. I uh, played co-op with our little cousin Tristan, who also got Pokemon Scarlet because nice. he's got good taste. <laughs> um, nice. And yeah, it ran really well. It's very fun. Probably gonna do more of that later on. You know, I beat do you the think game you'll while it buy the Violet. Nah. Or is it not enough? Not enough like other stuff to. Nah, it's like really... the same. It's like the same game. The only the only big difference. Well, I guess actually the story is big different. I guess the story is different because the time travel is to the future instead of the past. Again, that's spoilers mm-hmm. technically, but like it's very, it's one. It's like Pokemon spoilers where it's like there's all these ancient Pokemon around. Like, oh, well, where are they coming from? Yeah, well, there's fucking from yeah. the time traveled. Yeah, you know, like it's not Bang. that hard to figure out. It's for kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although, okay, it's for kids, but I do want to talk about this big spoiler, okay. which is that uh, the main Pokemon professor, and this is true in both games, I checked with Lucas, because uh, there's a different professor in each game, is the the parent of one of the main characters that you like adventure with on the Urban Mystica quest, whose name is Arvin. You find out in the end game that that professor has been dead for the entire events of the game. Uh, and was replaced by like an AI robot, and that's who you've been talking to the whole time. Oh, okay. And boy, is Arvin not that phased by it. <laughs> it's really weird. Does he's, he know? Yeah, he's there when you find out. But he knows the whole time. No, no, no. He finds out with you. What? Wow. He, and what does he say? He, he I, not much. Like, he's, he's Maybe he's like, in shock, man. I guess, you don't know. I don't know. It's because like the whole the whole game, this professor is like in the giant crater in in the middle of the region and is like talking to you remotely from there. You don't actually meet them in person until the end, and you find out it's a robot. Um, robot. And Arvin has like the built up a bunch of resentment because in Scarlet it's his mom, and Violet it's his dad. So I'm just gonna say his mom. His mom. Uh, cause it's a better game cause his mom like abandoned him to go do research in a crater forever mm, and like didn't really mm-hmm. ever be, it wasn't ever really a good parent. And, uh, so he's like, I guess it's good that it was a robot the whole oh time. Oh my God. <laughs> Some shit. I don't know. Like it's wow. so fucking weird. And he's I'm like, already Damn. made his peace. He, he had already <laughs> lost his mom. You then. know, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. <laughs> oh my but God. It was like, damn, this is a kid's game. And you just canonically killed the like main Pokemon professor <laughs> fucking game. Wow. It's so weird. That is weird. That's a pretty weird one. Yeah. That was a cool that was a cool uh I would say best story of any Pokemon game. Wow. Uh I mean Pokemon games don't have good stories typically. So it's not saying that much. They're all basically the same oh. except they just got they went like Pokemon games went through this really weird progression in terms of like because the story is always you need to go out and get all the gym badges and become a champion and then like usually around the six or seven gym or like throughout the game you're also running to like whatever the evil team is usually around the six or seventh gym there's some big climactic event there that culminates in catching the big legendary pokemon that then you use to defeat the team that's basically how it goes and that started with team rocket who's like they were like the mafia and they stole pokemon then it was team rocket again in gen two and then in gen three it was Team Magma and Team Aqua who were like climate extremists and were trying to, in Team Aqua's case, flood the entire world. <laughs> wow. And in Team Magma's case, like get rid of the ocean, <laughs> like dry the entire world. Wow, extreme. Wow. And then like Gen 4, yeah. 5, and 6 all had teams that kind of blend together for me, but they all in some way or another wanted to basically destroy the world like it really ramped up in a major way wow yeah they wanted to like use the big powerful legendary pokemon to in some way destroy the world in in gen 4 it was like uh, the uh, the legendaries like controlled space and time and they wanted to like destroy one of those it's fucking wild and then they pulled back really hard in gen 7 yeah. when it was basically just a bunch of hooligans and then even harder in sword and shield when it was like soccer fans <laughs> <laughs> like they were like based off like british 
soccer hooligan fans. <laughs> those are going to be, those, they're the dark horse, but I think they will be the ones to destroy the world, actually. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. I so, feel like it was, this whole time I've been sitting here thinking that it's probably going to be so much easier to flood the world than it would be to, like, get rid of the oceans. Hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So hey, we're doing it. We're doing a good job. We're doing it. it. Yeah, done. Yeah, I'm Team Liquid all day. Is that what it was? <laughs> team aqua, team uh, aqua. Team Liquid is. No. Yeah, me Team no, Liquid is a different team. thing. Yeah. No. Yeah, I yeah, team, team Liquid, liquid is I'm a different peeing thing. That's true. All day. <laughs> <laughs> is that what Team Liquid is? <laughs> it's an esports oh, organization. Okay. Earlier tonight, oh, okay. I was. You know, sometimes you're like, I do. I have to poop. And you're like asking yourself that, but you're looking at someone. Do you guys get that thing <laughs> where right after you eat a meal, you have to poop really soon after? Yeah. And I did you have you listened to Sawbones? Yeah. Recently? They, yeah. Well, what's it called? I forget. It's, what? I don't remember what it's called, but I know the description of what the yeah. Can phenomenon you just, can you is. describe it to Aaron? It's basically like once when you eat something, it like starts your digestive system going mm, right like it starts mm-hmm, your stomach mm-hmm. burbling and it kind of like sends waves down your entire digestive system mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it's not like the thing you eat makes you have to poop immediately because you're digesting mm-hmm. it so fast it's just like it sort of moves things along faster because you sort right. of got your digestion kicking mm-hmm. it's like make way yeah exactly it happens kind to me of, when yeah. i like sip coffee yeah it's like mm-hmm. my first Same. sip it's like watch Same. out. I, it's like, but also, invigorates. I think also because I had my gallbladder removed several years ago, that it makes it. Mm. I've always felt like I've had that happen more intensely since I stopped having a gallbladder. I don't know that it's related, but I know someone else. <laughs> since I stopped having <laughs> very a passive voice, yeah, very passive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> since I decided to not use my gallbladder anymore. <laughs> But I used to work with someone who also stopped having a gallbladder, and she um, <laughs> had the same thing. Uh, so I think uh, hmm. anecdotally, it seems related. But um, anyway, hmm. I was doing that where I, we had just eaten dinner, and I was like, do I have to poop? But I was looking at Ian, and he just like looked at me, and then he was like, probably not. And I got like really offended. <laughs> <laughs> You're what? like, my body, my choice, Ian. <laughs> like, how would you know if I have to poop or not? And then he goes, well, you poop like six times a day, which is true. I poop a lot. And yeah. and so I was like, so you should have said probably then. So <laughs> wow. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. yeah pretty, Let's cancel pre- Ian. Pretty fucking presumptuous. Ian is canceled. Yeah. Cancel, hashtag cancel Ian. Is that your obsession? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Um, my obsession is a book. Great obsession, Ben. Yeah, good job, Ben. Thanks. What's your obsession? Was it a book you're reading? Yes. Is it a book that I'm reading? No. Oh. What book are you reading? No, she forgot <laughs> that book at your house. Things remember? got so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. To no. <laughs> and then a pr- very pregnant pause. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what book we're both reading. House on the Cerulean Sea. We, well, I I can't read that. I, I don't have it. Also, I haven't read that in a long time, actually. I don't even remember why I pulled it out of my bag to begin with. For it to end up just in your house. Wow. Like, Things have wow. taken a turn. <laughs> wow. Now she's dunking on that. No, book. it's not that. Like, I brought down, like, six books, and I, I didn't read one of them. Like, physical books. They were all in my backpack. So, like, I literally don't know. Wait, why did you have that many books? I was like, I thought if I brought more Can't options. you always... Yeah, because you always go on vacation. Like, I'm going to read so much. Yeah. How many? It's like, sometimes I'll be in a kick where I'm reading one book a year. Uh-huh. I've ra- I ramped up significantly since then. <laughs> but I'll be like, on vacation for a week, I'm like, should I bring 10 books? <laughs> How fast do I read? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly same. I was like, I, yeah. I'm i going to be down there for so long. I'm going to probably have so much time. What if I run out of books? Yeah. I think maybe it got taken out of my backpack when we were driving down because I don't even think I took it out intentionally. I was probably just digging for something. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I think it's not. A, someone found it in your car and brought it. Yeah, in. it's not a commentary on the book itself. I've heard very good things about okay. it. However, all right, let's get to your book. <coughs> yeah, the book I have been reading is called The Honeys. Um, I got it from the library. 
excuse me, which seems to be the only way to get me to read lately because I put it on hold on like the Libby app. And then when it comes up, I feel a lot of pressure to read it right away um, because I only have for two weeks. So and I've been waiting for so long. It's like very exciting, right? Like you can renew it. But yeah, yeah, totally. Well, yeah, but there are usually people waiting for it as well. So I feel guilty about it, you know? Yeah. So let me see. Actually, let me see if I can find a summary of it. It's it's. I I am not quite finished with it. I almost finished it before we started recording, but um, I actually first heard about it on TikTok, um, a TikTok from the author himself. Uh. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's the like Goodreads description. <sighs> um, <sighs> Mars has always been the lesser twin, the shadow to his sister Caroline's radiance. But when Caroline dies under horrific circumstances, Mars is propelled no. to learn all he can about his once inseparable sister who'd grown tragically distant. Um, Mars's gender fluidity means he's often excluded from the traditions and expectations of his politically connected family. This includes attendance at the prestigious Aspen Conservancy Summer Academy, where his sister poured so much of her time. But with his grief still fresh, he insists on attending in her place. And that's uh, that's probably enough because there's like two more paragraphs. But basically, it's about it's from the perspective of this gender fluid teen named Mars mm. who goes by like any pronouns. Um <clears throat> although is is largely referred to by he uh, by he him because he's around a lot of like um people who i mean it doesn't bother him but he's around a lot of people who are very set in the binary especially when he's at camp um but yeah his sister died and and she died like kind of while she was away at camp so he goes back to find out like what happened and then in the process of the book going on you learn about how mars used to go there and why mars stopped going there and like all these like crazy mysterious happenings occur and it's it's very like mystical it starts out it's just like hits you right in the face immediately like Mm. the very first chapter is very gruesome right away um but like it just really sucks you in like i would really recommend it if you want kind of like a thriller um and also i think that ryan lasala does a really good job of capturing what it feels like to be at camp, like, you know, outside of the Mm. super creepy stuff that's going on, the camp experience also feels very real to me. And I never actually attended summer camp, but I was a a camp counselor for a summer. And like, it really takes me back to that time, like how Mm. like isolating summer camp is on purpose. Like it, even mm. now, I think a lot of times camps will take your phone away when you get there because they want you to just be like there mm. in nature and just the the nature of the heat itself and the way that there's just like nothing else around for miles most of the time mm. and everything that you need is like in its own building and every, you know, you say, see the same people every day and it's just very like, mm-hmm. it's all very familiar um, mm. and kind of nice to re-experience along with all the, the creepy, spooky mysteries. Mm, mm-hmm. and great writing so well great let me know when you finish it if you still give it the old wreck okay i'm pretty close like i'm like 50 pages away i was trying to finish it before we started okay. but um I-, I think at this point i've i've read enough to confidently say that i think i'm gonna enjoy all of it but i'll let you know if it i'll let you know right away and the listener know in two weeks <laughs> if things take a turn and i end up not recommending it <laughs> Do you read uh, ebooks on your phone? Yeah. Or you have a re- e-reader? I read them on my phone. Nice. With great big text. Oh, look at she go. Yeah. Not oh, the biggest. She's reading this whole podcast. <laughs> I, I haven't been. Wow, she had open it's on right there. It's just up on her phone. It was time. really open on her I, phone. Yeah, so well. Um, you've well, you been reading this whole time. <laughs> she's been reading. <laughs> I'm not. You've been reading. She's been, been reading. reading. See the, you the Libby she's app reading, right there? Lying. Reading. Watch this. Watch this. Sorry, I can't. There you go. See? That's a she closed reading. it. She closed it like it was proof that it wasn't open. <laughs> she was reading the whole time. Reading. Yeah, it's pretty obvious in retrospect. Reading. Okay. Well, reading. you believe what you what you need to. That's all I can say. Great stuff, Hannah. Yeah, I don't want to say too much about it because I think a lot of it should be a surprise. But yeah, I will let you know if um how it ends. <laughs> I mean, cool. Uh, how, if it ends well. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> um. Okay, so just one last thing. Should we write back Muammar Gaddafi's daughter or or no? <sighs> Let's sleep on it. It's a big yeah. decision. That's a lot of money to manage. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I'm ready to manage that much money. One of us will have to, to quit our job in order to focus on yeah. it. And so yeah. 
we need to figure out who that's going to mm-hmm. be. Mm-hmm. That's etc. Yeah, we, we have to rock paper scissors. For Maybe it. all three of us. Do you think she should? heard the podcast yeah. and that's why she mailed us? Yeah, text for us. Sure. Text us. Yeah, she should text oh, okay. us. Um, what's her name? I forget. Text text us. All right. Speaking of texting us, text us what's your homework? <laughs> Aaron, what's your homework? My homework is check out Blacktail Studios on YouTube. Hey, it's Cam of Blacktail Studios. <laughs> check out he makes big slab tables desks. <laughs> and they're beautiful. They are beautiful. And if you're looking for a great little YouTube channel to watch while you fall asleep, there you go. There you go. Ben, what's your homework? My homework is to get Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on the Switch. Baby! Scarlet's better. (laughs) Wow. Uh, Yeah, also, (laughs) quick plug also for Pokemon Showdown, play.pokemonshowdown.com. That's a website that's been running for years. That's the home of a lot of the competitive Pokemon community because it's, it's, it's a battle simulator where you can also build teams much, much easier than you can in game in that you can just like type things in and slide numbers around, slide little sliders for different stats rather than having to grind for literally hours in game. So What's it called again? Po- Pokemon Showdown. Cool. It's good. Good stuff. Great stuff. Wow. Good stuff. My homework is, Ben, you don't have any social media anymore, huh? Nope. My homework. Oh, what? You got rid of Twitter? I haven't. Ha- I haven't been on Twitter for a while. You got rid of you don't know, stream. I think I, I think I technically still have a Twitter. I didn't delete it, but it, I don't use it. All right, go ahead, Hannah. Uh, get them. My homework is to get the honeys by Ryan Lasala from your local library or your local bookstore. Um, I think I can confidently say that it's good. But um, as I mentioned, I'll follow up next week if it turns out the ending sucks. But I don't think it will. Um, yeah, The Honeys by Ryan Lasala. Cool book. Very cool beans. Engrossing is a word I would use to describe it. Gross beans. <laughs> Very gross beans. If you <laughs> want to call us or text us to tell us your obsession, you can do that at 774 326 0420. Blaze it. Blaze it. Blaze it. You can follow me, I forgot to say it, Anthropology on Twitter and Instagram, Hannah and her cats on TikTok. I did not delete the Twitter app from my phone, but I did move it so it's not visible on like my main screen. Um, so I don't go on there as much just from that alone has really like changed mm-hmm. my behavior a lot, which is interesting. Um, mm-hmm. But it's still there. Uh, you can follow us way too broad on Instagram. You can email us at way too broad at gmail.com. Any investment opportunities you have uh, for us. If you miss any of that, you can find all of that info and lots more at waytobroad.com or waytobod.com or nameyourselfjame.com or nameyourselfjamegan.com or jamegan.com for anything you want. Thank you. Earnben.com for anything you need. <laughs> Maxfun.org for a cute summer dog on a boat uh, in these uh. cold, cold times. Uh, friendsofthechaos.bandcamp.com for lots of great music, including our theme tune. Thank you for that. And uh, that's it. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful Thank week. You. We love you. And the podcast love you. is now extinguished. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.